Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. Blood tests are something that we all have. Some people need blood tests more frequently. Some people need blood tests less frequently. In the hospital, we often do blood tests every single day. It's important to remember that for various reasons, blood tests may not be accurate. It doesn't happen all the time, but erroneous blood tests happen enough to be noticed. And I can't tell you the number of times I see an erroneous blood test, we recheck the blood test and it's completely different. And erroneous blood tests can happen for a number of reasons and I want to share five of them with you in this video. Why you may need a repeat blood test and this is especially important if the blood test result makes no sense whatsoever, it's a surprise. That's why it's good not to act on a result which doesn't make sense. It should be repeated and I want to share five scenarios with you in this video. Number one, the timing of the blood test. As a very obvious example, if somebody is supposed to be fasting and they have their blood test drawn when they're not fasting, i.e. they've had a meal in the few hours beforehand, then that will obviously affect the blood test result. Other factors such as medications, sleep patterns, can also play into this. So to give you some examples, a very obvious example, if somebody is supposed to be fasting and they've had a meal, then their glucose may be too high. The same could apply when getting cholesterol levels checked. Also, another not infrequent example, somebody may get blood tests done in the morning and they haven't eaten or drank anything and they will be mildly dehydrated and their blood test will return showing what we call hemoconcentration. So as an example, their hemoglobin might be slightly higher than usual. On the other side of the coin, if they're in hospital and they've had fluids, their bloods may be hemodiluted, so may end up looking lower than they should. Could be hemoglobin, could be something else. Number two, sample handling. Improper handling of blood samples can lead to inaccurate results. If the sample is not stored or transported correctly, it can degrade or become contaminated, affecting the accuracy of the tests. As an example, a blood culture test can return as a false positive. So blood cultures are tests that we do more so in the hospital to see whether somebody has bacteria growing in their blood. Usually they're very sick if that is the case, but the sample may not be handled properly. There may be contamination when the sample is being taken. Some bacteria can get from the skin into the needle and into the sample and we get a false positive result. And it can take a couple of days for the final result to return, showing us that it is a contaminant rather than a true positive blood culture. Number three, lab errors. Human error in the laboratory, such as mislabeling samples or incorrectly calibrating equipment, can result in inaccurate test results. Quality control measures are in place to minimize such errors, but they can still occur. A couple of good examples of this, a viral infection, if the machine is calibrated wrongly, if the threshold is too low, people can be diagnosed with a viral infection who don't really have a true viral infection. This was a problem during the pandemic, machine calibrations. And I don't think it was talked about anywhere nearly enough. Machines that were calibrated to a very low threshold. Another example could be with blood alcohol levels. There are many conditions that can cause ethanol levels in the blood to appear elevated. I'm talking about a trivial elevation, not a significant elevation that happens when people are truly drinking. And some people get a result that their blood alcohol level is elevated and they say, well, I haven't been drinking any alcohol. And it is because the machine is calibrated too low. And obviously the consequences of that could be disastrous. So you have to make sure that a machine is calibrated correctly that is reading any blood test result. Number four, interference with certain medications or supplements. There are many drugs and therapeutics that can affect blood test results. Let me give you an example of a supplement, creatine, which is a common supplement used in the fitness world to help with strength training and building up muscles that will artificially elevate blood creatinine levels. Number five, underlying health conditions. Some underlying conditions can affect the accuracy of blood tests. For instance, liver or kidney disease can alter the levels of certain substances in the blood, leading to misleading results. Let me give you an example. If somebody's kidneys are not functioning normally, they have some renal impairment, then that will adversely affect 
certain cardiac blood tests. Two that I'm thinking of are BNP, which is a marker of heart failure, and troponin, which is a marker of cardiac stress and strain. Both of those blood tests can be artificially elevated in people with renal impairment. So those are some reasons then why your blood test may not be accurate. And it's so important if you get a surprise result that makes no sense whatsoever, doesn't match how the patient is feeling, how you are feeling, and is totally out of the blue different from your prior blood test results, then hopefully if you have a good doctor who has an inquiring mind and has some common sense, then they will probably want to repeat that blood test to make sure that it is accurate, especially if it doesn't match how you look and feel. Thanks everyone for watching. Feel free to comment down below. Have you had an experience with an inaccurate blood test? Gets repeated and it's completely different. Feel free to share your story with us. Check out my free newsletters and my website. Those links are down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will speak again very soon.